Hey guys, Canoe Ambassador Dave Nerona here today to talk about Avi Packs. Now you know, all know how in love I am with the uh, Climb Avi Pack. I've been using them both all season long. I've mostly been using the Aspect 16 liter. Absolutely love it. But today we're going to talk about the Atlas 26 liter and why I personally own one over the Aspect 16. So uh, a few differences on this pack. Um, number one is obviously space, uh, 10 liters more of space. Um, there are a few cool things on the 26 liter. Uh, one of the things that it does not have is it doesn't have the front uh, chest area protection on the 26 and I really love this for sledding. I use the 16 for days that I sled only because it's super lightweight. I don't want to carry a lot on my back. I want to be as light as possible. It also provides me with a little bit uh, more protection up front um, but really it comes down to the size of it. I have added a uh, pocket to the side because I really miss a waist pocket where I keep my Zolio personal communicator. Um, I love where the attachment for the radio on radio is and I've also attached a little another Another pocket up here where I keep a goggle wipe or anything that I might need um, for the day. Other than that, I keep the pack perfectly stocked. We're going to talk about the Atlas today because the reason why I own one is, as many of you know, I sled uh, probably two or three days a week and then the rest of the time I sled ski or sled snowboard and I also ski tour off my snowmobile. So I'll use it as access to get way into the backcountry and tour off my machine or sled ski with friends. And when you tour um, off your machine, you need to carry uh, a few more items. The reason being that when you're hiking up, you get really warm and you take off your jacket or take off gear and you need to store that gear. So the 26 liter pack allows me to do that. This is also great for people who are guiding and need more space or for those people who like to carry more gear on them, whether it be first aid gear, um, specialized avi gear, if they're doing that as a professional, anything where you need to carry more gear, you're gonna want this Atlas 26 liter. When we look at the pack, it also, again, comes with a tool kit. I don't use the tool kit because I keep my uh, Skidoo tool kit in my uh, tunnel bag, but uh, you can carry other item in, items or a tool kit on your backpack as well. And this is a great item that it's included with the pack, so it allows you to do that. It has just uh, a great goggle pocket up top here where I keep a set of fresh goggles um, and uh, or whatever you, else you want to carry. This is where the tool kit could live. But uh, this is a great pocket here. I actually keep one of these uh, Mountain Lab um, uh, flashlight kits. This is 1800 lumens. So when I arrive early in the morning, whether if I'm ski touring or whether I'm sledding, this allows me to see and get all my gear ready. Um, and also if I leave the backcountry late at night, which I often do, uh, this light comes in super handy. So it's right there with, with easy uh, access. The very cool what uh, Climb has done is this red zip is where all your safety gear lives. So uh, as I open these two, what's cool also is that it's a clamshell so you can open it right up and you've got your shovel designated spot, probe designated spot and your shovel handle. It also has emergency signals and um, information here. One thing that people don't talk enough about is that if you ever get involved in an avalanche or you arrive on scene to help somebody, um, the scene can be very panicked. Uh, you are rescuing your loved ones or best friends, so that can uh, send people into a lot of panic. It's nice that they've done this on the back to remind people what to do. Um, make sure you get the emergency message out right away and then start your search, get people on it and get going. And this uh, helps with it. Also has some uh, emergency numbers here. So I think they've done a great job um, with that and uh, easily closes right up. This is, we're gonna talk about this. This is a, actually a rapid ploy deployment um, where you can keep your probe if you don't wanna keep it in your bag and I'll explain that when we put the pack on. And then um, in the third pocket is actually where the Elp Ride um, capacitor sits where you turn it on and off and where you can see your battery life. Now, um, and I also keep my uh, radio in here which actually is, um, then is hooked up to my radio on the on the um, front of my pack. I'll talk a little bit about the Alpride system. So this is a compressor, not a battery. So it's super, super lightweight. It charges by USB through to a power plug in about 20 to 25 minutes. I've seen actually quicker times than that. 
as well as you can add two double uh, A batteries into the system. And what that does is uh, it keeps it charged up. So you don't have to charge this pack every night. You can literally go, oh, I've gone over a week without charging it. And the batteries could just actually just keep it uh, tuned up, let's say. I've also had this experience where I was uh, in the deep trees, I got stuck. And as I was pinning, pinning and wiggling out, I hit my strap on my handlebar and deployed my airbag. So what I did is I, um, I put my airbag back, folded it all in, uh, turned the pack off, did all that, and uh, then turned the bag on. And while I dug out and got my sled out, which was probably 20 to 30 minutes, might have been a little bit quicker, I, when I uh, went to put my pack on, it was actually charged and ready to go again. So that's a very, very cool feature of this pack. It won't do multiple charges off one charge, but it charges that easily with those two AA batteries. Or likewise, you could have a USB power stick and it, and it will be even faster. Just leave it in the bag and it's charging uh, as, you, uh, as you ride or ride up from the parking lot into the back country, it'll be fully charged. So um, the Alpride system is very, very cool. I think why you see so many people on this bag is because of that system uh, is one of the best systems. It's the lightest system and then put all together in this climb pack where they've used everything, uh, done everything right with all the pockets to separate stuff and keep things separated and easy. Um, and they've done a great job. This uh, pack also has two big waist uh, pockets and I absolutely love that. Some people don't, but you can put a phone here, a camera, um, whatever you want. I actually keep my Zolio um, personal locator in there so it's right there handy to use. Um, especially if I'm touring, um, I can keep it there. And uh, then as we, uh, I'm going to put the pack on so that we can see how easy it goes on. And again, the difference is when we talk about this pack is that it ha just has a sternum strap like a regular backpack, not the full uh, front protection system. It is important to remember to always do your crotch strap up. What they've done here on this pack, which I absolutely love and I'm used to it now, I don't even think about it, is the strap is attached into the middle rather than on the side. So you don't have to search for it and bring it around. It, you just reach back and it's always right there. So as you can see, the pack sits really, really nice on my back. Even though it's a bigger pack, it doesn't feel bigger. You are probably gonna pack more weight in it, so you will uh, gain a little bit of weight there. As you can see, it's got a one side here for my radio, and it clips on and super easy to get to. Um, it also has the trigger right here, which kicks out, so it's super easy and in the right position. Something to really think about when you're trying on an airbag, because I see it, what's really common, I don't even know if I could do it, is I see a lot of people and they're running their airbag way back here and their trigger's up here. You're not going to be able to reach on something like that if something really happens quickly. So making sure that your trigger is right there is really, really important. One of the great things about the system is it has about, uh, I think, six or eight places where you can plug the trigger in and that allows you to make sure that it's perfectly not in the way but not out of the way that you're not going to be able to grab it and that's really important. We talked last time about a uh, trigger being on the right side of the pack or the left. Most triggers initially came on the left side because people are right handed. Um, but uh, with sledding people sort of think they're going to run out of an avalanche and pull their trigger, great in theory. But uh, when you're winging it down 70 miles down a mountain with an avalanche chasing you, you're really not likely to pull your handlebars off, uh, your hands off the handlebars. So regardless of that, it actually doesn't matter what side you put your trigger on. The most important is what's natural for you and that you pull it before you, if you are in any danger, hear any woofing or you see an avalanche, pull your airbag and then try to run out of it. Don't try to run out of it and then hopes that if it does hit you that you're going to be able to magically pull it because the chances of that happening can be very slim. It's why we see 25% of people buried with avalanche airbags that never deployed them. So also really important to not only use one of these packs but to know and test it, test fire it and practice with it. And again that's another thing about the, what's great about the Alpride system is that you can practice it at home Practice it in the hotel room the night before you go riding, plug it in, in 20 minutes it's recharged, ready to go. You could even do it in the morning before breakfast, go have breakfast, come back, the pack will be charged. So very, very cool.
when we do pull the airbag, you can see how quickly the airbag deploys and it's 150 liters. Uh, a lot of people worry how airbags, uh, their shape and where they are and functionality. Really, if you get in a big avalanche, it's like being thrown into a 20 foot uh, tidal wave. Uh, how you end up is really just luck. And the important thing is to stay uh, bigger than everything around you and that's basically what um, an airbag does. It's called uh, inverse segregation. So basically bigger things rise to the top, smaller things go to the bottom. So this is why we wear airbags and why they um, go so big. So. Um, as you can see, the thing I like about this is if it went deployed, I can still ride, I can still ski, I still have good visibility if I did need to outrun or was outrunning an avalanche as, as I pulled it and was making my way out at a 45 degree angle, um, whatever, I'm, whatever I'm doing. And, and something to think about before you even get onto a slope is uh, what's your exit strategy if something were to slide. So all these things come together with owning one of these backpacks. So when we take the pack off to do to uh, reset it, it's really really easy. Is um, well, I've got a table here just to make it easier. All we're going to do is open up the pack and expose the uh, the compressor part of it, and it's got a little tab that you basically push down and turn. And all we're going to do is let all that air out. And through the magic of video, we're going to finish this off and show you how we fold it up. All right, we've taken all the air out of the airbag and uh, super easy. You can follow the crease lines back here and fold this side in like so. On this side, and likewise on the opposite side. And fold it in. And when you get to the end here, you're probably going to have to hold down the button and let the rest of the air out. And now all we need to do is zip the system back up, the airbag in, and we're good to go. Well guys, we folded up the airbag, packed it all in, and it's now charging, so you can see how easy it is to do. One last thing I wanted to share with you, which is a very cool innovation that Climb has done, is the rapid ploy de deployment. So with this one clip of the button, you can see I can actually have my probe out, put it out, and deploy it in literally seconds. So very, very cool if you did get into a scenario where people were trying to find someone and as you're going out, pull your probe out and you're ready to go. It's all about being quick and efficient when you're trying to rescue someone in the backcountry. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the Atlas 26 liters and the reason why I use it and the difference from the Aspect 16. Of course, you can grab any one of these packs online at climb.com or of course, visit one of your local awesome dealers. We'll see you out in the pal.